the university representatives from AMA International. Expect to ensure excellent bilateral relations with Australia on the counter narcotics front, 
are two countries who work all together. You know, different point of view from students' point of view. Your Excellency, Madam Chair, and Mr. Chair, probably delegates from our guests. The Kingdom of Tonga, formerly known as Siam, is known for the, for the striking nature of Eden's culture and elevated tourism. Though, though it may seem that the country is at peace within itself and with the neighboring countries in the world, this kingdom faces so many problems within itself. The problems that the country is facing are more than conceivable. Tonga has been facing problems with supply with surviving water to villages and rural areas with many locations going on for days without any water. Another major problem that our kingdom is facing is urbanization. In recent years, there has been a race in the number of people migrating from rare areas to major urban spread taking start on the people and driving away from many potential businesses. planning it would be and it would and it's not just America's problem it's global the need to reduce water waste and efficiency is greater now than ever before water is it water efficiency is the wave of the future solutions such as taking legis legis legislative actions involving municipalities to reuse the, wa the waste water are all the steps that can be taken towards controlling water usage and preserving it we look forward for formulating future plans. Our issue here is water shortage. And I'm representing France, uh, we're a country that has taken this into consideration. And as we are a wealthy country, we are willing to help other countries in trouble with water shortages since the technicians and experts
the peacekeepers are there to negotiate and make many factions or between two but we have to encourage that or how about we say urgently to stress Okay, yeah. but the thing is there's a discussion right now about should we have peacekeepers or should we have peacemakers, with peacemakers being people that take action. Do you think that peacekeepers should take action? But then again, for example, uh, there was this part that we have the force, you know what I mean, the peacekeeping force. Mm. We also have the peacemaking force, we yeah. have the negotiations. Yeah. Yeah. So you, at the same time, we yeah. also have the... Uh, after restoring order, the, uh, okay. You, you can't threaten because we need. Or oh no, or we'll threaten. Threat them. We'll no, 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 we're not threatening you. Guys. No, 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 we don't. Don't <laughs> <laughs> There are a few words here. Where's the two? Stop talking about using nuclear weapons as a threat. These are the protective we don't need. Yeah, we don't need Stop using nuclear power. Okay. No. No. Stop it's a strongly no. recommend in all these countries. Yeah. Yes. No, no, stop. Can threaten the PC demands. Yeah. Not using, because they have Yeah, but the thing is, they don't want it. We 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 don't want it. Okay. That's, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll, do that. we'll put some topics. We'll talk to the new guys. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, saying? So, <laughs> Don't do this, please. Okay. That was, that was one precious line we just saw. Oh my god. What happened? Press and do. Oh. No, the, the screen is. The screen is. No, why did it say anything? No, no. Or click. Hybrid anything. Who knows anything about the screen? And you can't let me jam in Pakistan and China and Turkey. We need them, you know, and we need some help with all the flower get up. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 exactly. So you can't say it's Pakistan. Just encourage the yeah. yeah. to. Uh, you can actually. And then Russia is supposed to be in favor of the NBT. To further the war against the one about the. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is what he and Persia is India and Pakistan. It's not like a lumberjack. India? No, no, this is the same. Well, first thing to say is that we're going to be encouraging countries to be able to do it. The means, the economy, the ability to do it. We need to look at the service and the that's where did you guys photocopy? I'm sure for them, for you guys. Oh, but where? With the head, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yes, we're not going to do that.
Yeah. We'll talk about this later. Yeah. 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 Because currently uh, the UN peacekeeping force is in need of helicopters in Darfur. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's I'll make very, that like, point. That's a very important point. I'll make that point. To reform against, uh, reform for a peacekeeping force relevant to the area, relevant to the geographical location, uh, relevant to the ethnicity. Yeah. Uh, because right now, the, the Sudan government has already approved the AU forces, which are the Africans. Okay. Non-Africans, they're still waiting for approval. Okay. So, with these kind of conflicts arising, with these kind of governments trying to go against all Western influence, you could have a UN peacekeeping force of African people, uh, like these so, nations. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, you say, uh, is there something, is there a class called recognizing or recognizing? Who's Max? Recognizing that, I don't know, I'm just saying, you know, recognizing that the American mother should try facing humanity. Yeah, we should submit the resolution and end the debate where people are opposing the resolution of trying to make No one is against it with a shortage, right? No. I think we need to have some copies of the resolution. Yeah. Maybe there are some clauses that are calling for something and it's not like uh, it's not, it's against your, it's against your, it's against your, it's another, another really kind of uh, what's your solution? Every single time, any peacekeeping force should include humanitarian aid, you know, reconstruction, uh, offer assistance. So, at least if they said that the Article 65 of the Charter of the United Nations. The Economic and Social Council or Humanitarian Aid, which have a separate, uh, it's like Humanitarian Aid, Reconstruction, Social Development. Iran. That's what we're doing. Not Iran. I, this, besides, Iran doesn't need to take from what you have. We're the ones who help them the most of the things. So, the goal is we will demilitarize better ways of using energy, all right? We create an equality between Pakistan should have more, this, okay? These two will then discuss. I'm sorry to. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you from one. Do you think it's easy for a country to remove an, uh, a reactor from. No, no, let me explain. All right? I'm not asking that we just go walk and carry reactors on our backs and leave. I know it's extremely difficult to do. We'll have a conference made of several nations. Okay? Pick by the GA or the IAEA, whichever we choose. There will be no set members. The only two set members will be Pakistan. Two, disarm nuclear, like in terms of the yeah, nuclear weapons, yeah. give them out, get rid of them, to create a demilitarized zone under the eyes of the UN, 
and last but not least, create peace and equality and to ratify international laws. We are not asking for the for Pakistan to completely forget India and do whatever they want. We're not asking for India to do whatever we want to Pakistan. We want to create an equality. We are the United Nations. We're here for each other, right? And how can you make sure that they're not using it for weapons? Well, first of all, that's a good question. We would like to come up with annual meetings, sending inspectors. But well, we're not going to send any random inspectors. We will send inspectors appointed by the nation so that they feel that their sovereignty will not be infringed and so that they feel that they are given their basic rights. Also, they will send reports. We will send inspections and reports, consistency. We will see what's going on in the nations. Once a nation has completely once disar disarmed, we'll have like a national day to celebrate it, which is wonderful. So we can basically get peace, disarmament, incentives, no consequences. The nations will not have to fear about being sanctioned. They will not fear about being threatened by force. They will be in complete relax. They'll be completely relaxed. So Second largest population. Okay, this is all a very ideal solution, but this is reality. India is not just yeah. going to come. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to make myself. India. 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 I'm going to make myself. Turns, turns, Bob, turns, turns. One at a time. One at a time. Let her go first. Let her go first. Best norm. Best norm. Okay. First of all, first of all. India's going to say that. Okay, you. We should consider that uh, the political crisis going on in Pakistan at this point in time. Exactly. Uh, they're running, Pakistan they're is running a military yeah. government. Completely unstable. Uh, so keeping in mind that Pakistan has a military government. There's a coup every government. five minutes. So how are they going to deal with their nuclear They're going through an emergency an crisis. Meeting. With all these things, like with all the civil uh, problems going on within Pakistan, do you think uh, that India should forget about uh, how dangerous they can get. Well, let's look considering the military government. Okay. And especially now, two At weeks ago, time, the country announced national emergency. Two weeks ago. All right. So let's look at let's look at Pakistan first of all. Now, Pakistan economically are poor. Their government's in shambles. All right. It seems that nothing can be done. When in fact. The nation disarms, I hear the next nation disarms. That's completely outrageous. And Pakistan cannot outrageous. be threatened by India because Pakistan knows. If, if Pakistan does anything to India, India fights back. And India is strong. Exactly, this is a stalemate. Okay. Both nations. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's not consider who's being suffered. So they're no, the the local 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 Yeah. Bye. You're yielding? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm structured on that one. Thank you. 
Thank you, Honorable Delia I would like to thank you all. Initially, I would like to discuss the women empowerment concerned in this convention. The WHO, which is known as World Health Organization, is one, is one of the official agencies of the United Nations, which promotes health among nations in the program to control and eradicate disease and strive to improve the quality of human life. WHO 